Hi folks, summer definitely arrived to the UK. Not a cloud in the sky today. Well, one, two, three, hardly anything. 21, 22 degrees, really light winds. So great opportunity to come out and fly the new build properly after the, uh, after the maiden where it rained and we had a little bit of an issue with the, uh, the crash. Um, I've done a little bit of tuning, I've had it, had it up already. Uh, the P gains were far too high, so um, I've dropped them down P and D on pitch and roll. It was, uh, was juddering really badly. Here's a bit of a bit of footage actually of uh, what it was looking like um, on the maiden day. Um, didn't have a chance to fix it, so I've dropped the, uh, the P gain and the I gain, uh, sorry, the P and D gain down on pitch and roll. It's really stable now. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna put this up and uh, just have some fun with it. And uh, then we're gonna put it on the wall or sit in a workshop. Um, for Germany um, and just fly the test plane because I don't want to have a crash or anything just before I set off to Germany. I want to make sure I've got three planes. And I finished build number three. Um, so this is a, another build. So this one is pretty much the same specification, excepting that um, I'm running this Brother Hobby reunion. Um, this is a 2318 1250 kV with a cam carbon, aeronaut cam carbon light nine by five. So it'll be a bit quieter, a bit more efficient. Um, this one's gonna be a bit more of a, a cruiser. So I'm gonna made in this one today as well and just get this one set up ready for Germany. So that's that one done. So yeah, that's it really. Um, just gonna enjoy it. Uh, enjoy the fact we've got some decent weather at last. Um, the wind started to pick up. It was quite light when I first arrived. Um, it's now, uh, now picking up a little bit so uh, but you know nothing serious so should be a really really fun flight and fingers crossed this one goes up nicely um, I think it should because it's a pretty much the same spec um, as the other one um, bolts or elevons etc only difference is the motor the prop and the flight controller this has got a Matek F722 um, wing another legacy flight control that I bought ages ago never got around to using looks very similar to the F405 wing actually so I think it's got a little bit more power but yeah, essentially the same shape, same style. So um, in terms of the inside of the uh, fuselage, the same cover, everything kind of the same. Okay, so uh, let's do that. Let's get these uh, two planes in the air, capture a bit of footage and go home for a beer. It's actually my birthday on Sunday. Got all the family coming for a barbecue and it's my retirement weekend. Uh, I should retired from work a couple of days ago. Hallelujah. Um, so now I can spend as much time as I want flying, traveling around in my camper van that I've just bought for traveling around the UK and Europe to fly in places. So yeah, uh, maybe somewhere near you soon, who knows. Great, um, okay, let's get them up in the air and have some fun. Okay, I risk launching it over the really hard ground. I'm that confident. Yeah. Right. Let's adjust this camera. Well, it's warm today. I think it's about 21, 22 degrees. It's the summer's well and truly hit. Oh, goggles look so fantastic. And this is with a, an old air unit using the latest firmware. That is just magnificent. Right, so. Let's check out these PIDs. 9210, 822, 50 and 100. Okay, it should feel pretty good. I spent a little bit of time messing around tuning it. I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna auto level it, because I can't remember if I did that after I'd changed those PIDs. Okay. Mode one. Acro mode. Oh, that's good.
Wind's picking up now, said it was going to pick up. It's a nice slow pass. Feels good. Maybe a little bit more off the P gain on the pitch. Just a fracture, maybe one or two points. It's a bit bouncy. Oh, I should have put the um, Aeronaut Cam Carbon on to test that. I will do on the next flight. Yeah, it feels good. Feels very good. Look at that sun, blazing. Oh, this plane feels good. Feels really good. So now I've got it all tuned, I can uh, leave it in the workshop, take it to Germany without crashing it and let uh, Mark Hoffman finish it off. Return to launch. Whoa, go behind there. You're in for trouble. I've gone behind there before on crash, so I should know better. Thank goodness it's climbed straight away on return to launch. the usual flying ground below. You can see we're not that far away from my home, the usual flying ground. We're a bit high. So yeah, so just coming over now the, uh, the part of this uh, farmland that I normally fly, but I didn't want to fly here today because um, it's only a very narrow landing strip and I don't want to damage this plane, so I've got to be careful going low here because we're actually down here in a a much lower area, so as you go down here, 
this land falls away and uh, I didn't want to use lose signal by going behind the earth. So there's a great app that I use called Solwise. You can basically map the, uh, the level of the ground to see whether you've got line of sight and what altitude you need to be to maintain that line of sight. It's not bad, the wind's really picked up now. It's gone back down the road. And then uh, bring it into land. Really pleased with it, really happy with it. Feels really solid. Let's bring her in. Don't flip it this time, Glenn. Try and bleed off some more airspeed. They do land in fast when they're heavy like this, 1.6 kilos. <coughs> Shit. Fly just went straight in my mouth. I was talking. I think I've swallowed it. It's all protein, I guess. Right. That's better. That's much better. Okay, this is it. This is the maiden of AR Pro 3. Yeah, she's away. She's gone into loiter. That's great.